Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And this week has been crazy, crazy, crazy unusual. I mean, probably in the years and years and years. You know, I went out for a couple of restaurant dinners for some special occasions. I did a burger review day on Monday. So, you know, my diet is completely messed up and my parents have these painters in here from like 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. so I'm barely able to get any sleep but uh, I, I still feel pretty good I think I look pretty good for how uh, for what I've been doing and I'm just gonna show you guys today the meal that I have after I do all of these burger reviews so if you didn't see the video on Tuesday I launched a channel best burger reviews where we go to the best burger restaurants in New York City do a quick review I'll talk more about that maybe in a whole separate video next week, but the point is like I go to 15 to 20 burger places in one day, take two to three bites out of every burger, and by the end of the day, I feel like I'm going to die. I mean, it's honestly, I don't feel that bad, but I, I literally smell like burger grease, and I can smell coming out of my hands no matter how many times I take a shower and wash myself. So throughout the tasting what I do is I drink a ton of water kefir usually two full bottles throughout the day I take mastic gum after every review and some charcoal with every review what this does is it prevents antimicrobial fungus overgrowth it absorbs some of the toxins the negative things in the food and the probiotics also help digest give me B vitamins and counteract some of the negatives in the burgers now that Monday when I got home I literally felt my toe hurting like gout so you know when you combine vegetable seed oils with a lack of vitamin c you know so sometimes you can start getting a lot of inflammation in your body the next morning i drank like maybe six lemons worth of juice and normally we do have the lemon lime ginger water kefir which might have actually prevented that from happening if i was drinking it while we were doing the reviews but that's what i did during it and then the next day because i'm not eating after i do those all reviews i am completely stuck so i wait for the next day usually afternoon 2 or 3 p.m. and I have a big bowl of pasta and as much bread as I can eat all organic pretty plain and the purpose of that is to push all of that stuff out of my intestines out of my body as quickly as possible I don't want to eat protein because I had so much protein in those burgers and protein is hard on the digestive system compared to fats and carbohydrates so that's what I'm preparing right now we got some Italian durum wheat semolina pasta boiling away in some Mountain Valley spring water with some of our Bolivian Rose Mountain Salt from Frankie's Free Range Meat. In the oven we have some bread alone sourdough bread with a little bit of coconut oil on it and some Italian herb seasoning as well as some salt. Uh, additionally what I've really been liking I'll have you know a can or two of baby food afterwards just to get some more bulk but sometimes I skip this I don't have this every meal if I'm a little too full I, I mean I should probably explain this in a whole separate video but I, I think you guys understand I'm trying to branch out and do more and market my business and, and doing the burger reviews does so many things I can offer a custom best burger blend maybe even open up a restaurant in the city in the future it, it's just me trying guys you know instead of spending 5 10 15 however much money thousands and thousands of dollars on Google ads or Facebook ads and just getting spammed by people and attacked by vegans and all that stuff I, I invested the money into filming my own TV series I might do my own commercials as well I, I'm fortunate that I, I I'm pretty good at a lot of things like I call myself jack of all trades master of none so like I can do things very affordably whereas you know it might cost someone tens of thousands of dollars to do something like that I can do it for a reasonable amount so you know, by no means is the amount of money I'm spending enough to, you know, start a farm or do these operations. It's, it's kind of like I'm trying to do these things to hopefully get to that point. So let me, uh, let me finish cooking this meal, get it together, and then we'll sit down and chat some more. So I've got my plain pasta here, just salt and oil on it. And if you make it al dente perfectly, put a little bit of pasta water in there and mix it up, it's really, really delicious. But if you overcook a little bit, if you don't do it right, then it's, it's not so good, not so enjoyable. Italian seasoning just makes it more palatable and I can eat more of it. 
And with every meal, I'm still taking the Masticum. We have this available on OrientSupplements.com. Now, I know I keep pumping up this water kefir as like the health holy grail, and it really is the most important significant factor I've consumed to help improve my own health. And with these burger reviews, the very first time I did like seven of them, when we weren't too good at going around quickly, I didn't have the water kefir with me. I was sicker than I've ever been in my life for like two weeks straight coughing my lungs out so sick because if you think about it each burger has 10 or 15 different ingredients in it it's been touched by god knows how many people before you eat it and i got very very sick the second shoot we did where i drank the water kefir i didn't get sick at all the water kefir and the mastic gum even after going to 15 20 burger places not a problem so not only is this great for digestion and detoxing it literally prevented me from getting sick from eating all of that food I know Thanksgiving's coming up next week, guys. Definitely want to have some water kefir on hand, especially. It almost negates the meal in a way because the main problem with eating shitty food is they mess up your gut bacteria. But if you have water kefir, your gut bacteria doesn't get messed up. So about halfway through the meal, as you guys have seen me do many times, I take some masticum and the amount you take depends on how good your digestion is like lately. I haven't been taking enough, so now I kind of have to increase the amount a little bit. I just swallow maybe a tablespoon down with the water keeper, and then back to the meal. So I've eaten most of the meal. I'm just gonna sit here, relax for maybe like 20, 30 minutes, watch some TV, finish up the food, have some of the uh, banana baby food. And you guys have seen me do a meal very similar to this. I believe I just had like a steak cutlet with it. So I'm not just going to um, re-explain everything to you. Um, I, I will mention though, I do think that cooked bananas are one of like the healthiest like desserts. Um, raw bananas are, are pretty high in anti-nutrients, but once you cook them, once you have them in a puree like this, it it's definitely way easier on the gut. So that's going to be it. Uh, definitely check out the Best Burger Reviews channel. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know if you guys learned anything in this video that's going to help you besides chugging a bunch of water kefir. You can also check out all of my other businesses on franktestifano.com. So many interesting products for you guys to try out. And hopefully in the future, it all pays off. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave me that comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube unsubscribes you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.